This weekend, Kevin and I have decided to take on the ultimate outdoor shower at the cottage. I'm Andrew. I'm Kevin. Welcome, Welcome to Brojax. <laughs> For the ultimate outdoor shower, we're going to build up from our old swim platform. Four upright posts fit nicely into deck blocks, making a strong 8x8 structure. We'll use plywood to build half walls covered with cedar shingles inside and out. The upper half of the walls will be made of cordwood, cut from various sizes to give it a great rustic look. We'll put in a simple front door for privacy and a custom sliding wall along the back that opens to reveal a great view of the lake while soaking in the tub. Since we're repurposing this thing, we haven't, it's not built really for what we need it for. So we have to play around with it a little bit here and get it uh, straightened out. The bathtub probably weighs three or 400 pounds. When you fill it with water, it's probably gonna weigh five or 600. So we have to reinforce the underneath of this so it'll carry that load. We know we're under the gun for this one. So we're gonna have to go really hard for the next couple days. Skyscraper. We could make it a double decker shower. <laughs> We've got a big day in front of us. We've got to get the posts up, got to get the walls in. Next step, put the top cross braces on. Yeah. sliding wall in front of the bathtub. In my opinion, this is our feature item, and this is really gonna kind of bring it up to the next level. It's gonna look really nice when it's closed, and then when it moves, it's gonna look really cool, because you're gonna see the lake in the background, gonna be a nice vista. I think the art piece is probably gonna be good, and it's gonna be a nice feature, but I've basically been doing this solo. Andrew's not behind this part of the project at all. I don't understand why. He just doesn't get it, I don't understand. Usually this is his type of thing. This stuff is hard to do by yourself. Trying to hold and cut at the same time ends up you, you know, you inevitably hurt yourself. Next up is the plumbing. The pump, the plumbing, the heating. I don't know, we don't even know what we're doing with that yet. Okay. I think we need to talk to Walker for that stuff. Yeah. So what we have here is a two-stage pumping system we're going to use to power the shower. And essentially what we're going to do is just run a garden hose from the lake, and we're going to use an inline utility pump, and it's going to fill our rain barrel. And from the barrel, all we need to do is get pressure to our propane-fired heater. It's coming out fast. That's actually pretty decent flow. That's going to be our shower pressure. Okay. The rain is unfortunate, and a gray day, it's, uh, uh, it's just kind of unfortunate the way it came in at the last minute. Let's, Let's stop admiring and go get in it. How is it? Awesome. Yeah? This is amazing, man. Really? This is amazing. What is that? No clinger shower curtain here. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. Thing. And the flow's totally fine. These tubs are so comfortable. They are. They made the Why did they stop building these things? No. Well, because they're about 800 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> We've got four chairs, basically everything you need for a fire. The chop chair is a place to chop your firewood, but it also contains a fire starting kit and a built in bellows to really get the fire going. To get this party going, the music chair has a built in kick drum, a guitar amp, and a few instruments to pass around. 